health alert. Officials have now confirmed four cases of measles at Manatee Bay Elementary in Broward County. Today, health experts are sharing what parents need to know to keep their children safe. Local 10's Cody Weddle joins us live in Weston with all the details. Look, Cody. And Janice, we know that the local health department here in Broward County currently sure. working to figure out how this cluster of measles started here. We're speaking to an expert about the symptoms parents should look out for, especially if their children are not vaccinated. My kids are vaccinated, so that does make me feel better. As kids enjoy a day off from school, parents considering how to keep them safe as they interact with others. Because they're vaccinated, I'm not as nervous. Hopefully right. they're, they'll be fine. This after Broward County Schools confirmed the number of cases of measles at Manatee Bay Elementary School has now risen to four. So there is a possibility that this can spread and become uh, to the point where it's no longer eradicated in the United States. It's a frustrating development sure, for infectious disease concern, specialists uh, like Dr. Chad Sanborn, who says he has only ever treated a handful of cases of the extremely rare virus in his over 20 years as a doctor. Even mild cases of measles, the kids are often pretty sick. Um, so more so than a common cold, uh, more so than even chickenpox in many cases. Here's what parents need to look out for. The first symptoms generally come as congestion, red eye and cough. Most children will pass the virus without any treatment, but a small portion will develop complications like pneumonia. Three people out of every thousand people who acquired the virus will actually not survive. Uh, from that. The good news, the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine is highly effective. I don't think you can go to school unless you're vaccinated. So for kids to get measles, um, that that was a bit concerning. Meaning most children who have received it will remain immune and can continue with their normal routines. And the doctor also explaining to us that in a very small percentage of cases, a case of measles can lead to neurological uh, issues down the line five or 10 years later after that infection. So much more to know about this virus for parents. We have much more information on our website, local10.com. We're live in Weston. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.